All right, now like you guys saw, I have thousands of dollars worth of camera equipment and my computer in here. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things and today we are taking a look at some new products coming out from Amobilis. You have seen this jacket in a ton of videos in the past. I get questions on it all the time. You want to know the functionality of it, where you can get it. I've also gotten some questions on some other products that they make like this hoodie that I'm wearing underneath it and now there are some even newer products coming out. So if you want to get information on anything that you see here in this video, I will leave links in the description down below. You can check out some of their already existing existing products like this jacket and this hoodie, but also there are some new products that are on their Kickstarter right now. This video is a little time sensitive because the Kickstarter project ends on the 17th of this month, so you have about a week and a half to get on it. If you see something that you are interested in, I would definitely recommend checking out their Kickstarter and backing it if you so choose. Because when you back Kickstarter projects like that, you not only get some kick-ass products, but you get them at a cheaper price than they will retail for. So anyway, let's start off with this jacket again if you guys have not seen this you must be very new to the channel because I wear it in Sunday Gunday videos all the time I have done a dedicated video on it as well so if you want to check that out I will leave a link for it up in the corner right here as you can see this thing is still in fairly good condition I mean pretty much perfect condition and I do wear this thing all the time it definitely screams tactical which a lot of people may not be interested in but it is definitely a jacket that gets a ton of questions and a lot of people seem to like it I'm really not gonna go into any more depth on this one but this was available on their Kickstarter when I originally covered it now it should be available on their website so you can check that out in the description down below now after I covered that jacket I got a lot of questions on their tactical responder hoodies so much like the jacket this hoodie is built with some crazy quality this thing just fits so well super comfortable very warm and this hoodie doesn't quite scream tactical like the jacket does so if that really isn't your thing maybe this hoodie is something that you might be interested in this is the full zip version which is very nice I would much prefer this over a pullover this thing has some reinforced elbows it has YKK zippers all over it pockets everywhere you think you would need them and of course it also has a hood that is something that I wish the tactical responder jacket actually actually had but I typically always wear a hoodie with that jacket anyway. So this FZ or full zip hoodie is something that is available on their website right now so you can check that out but the next two products are actually on their Kickstarter campaign. We're gonna take these now one at a time and these are the ones that I'm actually very excited about. I'm gonna be testing and using these for the next couple of months. Now both of these bags are a part of what they call their tactical urban carry systems. There are two different styles. One of them not so much my style so we will get that one out of the way first. That is the tactical tote. This is a 21 liter tote bag and it reminds me of something that you would take to the gym or maybe use as like a beach bag. It has a really big open top that closes with magnets. It has regular handles and it also has an additional shoulder strap. There are two zipper pockets on the outside of this thing, again with those YKK zippers. We will talk more about those here in a second. There are also two mesh pockets on each side with some female Velcro and some laser cut molly in there so you can attach anything that you might have a clip on. Now on the inside of this thing, other than just being a big open compartment for throwing any gym clothing or maybe some beach towels in here, you also have two zipper compartments. You have a padded pocket on this side, which would probably be good for throwing in a tablet or something like that, and then another zipper pocket on the opposite side. Now, although this bag is really not my style, I am still pretty stoked on it just for the quality aspect of it. The entire tote bag, as well as the rucksack, which I will show you in a second, is made out of a tarpaulin material. This is a very similar feeling to the front of the Responder jacket. It just seems like a bomb-proof type of material, definitely weather resistant. And then, of course, on the bottom of the bag, they have this super fabric, which obviously is good for setting down in some dirty environments. Another good thing about these heavy duty YKK zippers is that they are also weather resistant. You can see a very nice tight seam across the front of these zippers and this goes for all zippers on the outside of both of these bags. If you are storing any type of electronics in here, they will definitely remain safe from any kind of rain, splashes, mud, or anything that you might see these bags in. So that is the tactical tote, but now we are moving on to the bag that I am most excited about, and that is their new rucksack. 
This Urban Responder rucksack for me is basically going to be filling a role as a travel bag. As you guys know, I travel a lot already, both by car and airplane, and I use a bag fairly similar to this one already. This is the perfect size to take on as a carry-on because you can fit it underneath an airplane seat or up in the overhead bin. On the bag that I currently use, there is just one big open compartment in the front and then a separate one on top. This one is definitely adding a little bit more functionality with these super premium materials, and I'm definitely excited to test this thing out some more. So again, on the rucksack, you are getting that waterproof military grade tarpaulin over the entire bag. On the bottom of the bag, you have the same super fabric plated armor. There are also Velcro patches with laser cut molly on each side of the bag. That is perfect for storing anything like a pocket knife or maybe a flashlight. And everything about this bag just screams bomb proof. Amobilis does have a lifetime warranty on all of their products. So they are definitely designing these things with some very, very heavy duty materials from the start. Now I do have some trips coming up fairly soon, so I took everything out of my normal travel bag and moved it into this, and I'm definitely excited to test it out. Typically when I'm going places, I will just take my clothing, all of my camera gear, and a computer, that way I can work while on the move. So I'm gonna give you guys a rundown of everything that I have in this bag, and right now I have it set up for probably like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday type of trip. So starting with the outside of the bag here, the first thing that I like is the overall shape and size of this thing. Like I said, you can slide this under an airplane seat, fits very well in the overhead compartment, and at the same time, it packs out very, very well. As you can see, it's sort of like a little brick packed with everything that I need. You got that super fabric armor plating on the bottom here, that way if I'm sitting it here on this dirty wood table, it's not gonna get all messed up. On each side of the pack here, you will see this laser cut Velcro Molly. These bags do come with a nice amobilis patch, or if you wanna put something else on here, like one of my patches, you have that option as well. Now I know it is a little hard to see, but there is laser cut Molly on both sides of this, and if you want to hang something like your sunglasses on the outside of your bag, you can definitely do that. Also on this side is a water bottle pocket. As you can see, it uses that same YKK weather resistant zipper. And because this thing is basically waterproof, if you have something in here that spills, it is separated from the rest of the bag, so you do not have to worry about getting anything wet that you do not want wet. Now on the back side of this bag, you can see some very nice cushion. This thing is actually very comfortable when you have it on your back. You have some tarpaulin on top for the grab handle, and then you have a chest strap, of course, adjustable shoulder straps. And then there's also a hidden pocket right here in the lumbar type of area. Of course, this is the same weather resistant type of pocket here, and it is actually fairly large and comfortable at the same time. This acts as sort of like a hidden stash pocket, so you could take something like an EDC weapon, something like this, and slip it right in your back pocket, and then zip this thing up. Obviously, that is not something that you are going to be able to get to very quickly, but that just goes to show that you could put something like a firearm in there and it will still remain pretty damn comfortable. This is some thick padding on here. Now, since I am going to be going through TSA with this, I actually am gonna take this out. I gotta completely de-weaponize myself. Now, moving on to the other side of the bag, you also have another sort of hidden little compartment here. You could throw your wallet or keys in there, and of course, that is good for going through TSA. And then also on the back of the bag here, you have a massive laptop compartment where you can have a 15 inch MacBook, just like that. And again, this thing is weather resistant, so you do not have to worry about that getting wet if you are outside, maybe backpacking in the rain. Now, since this is a rucksack, you can pack this thing from the top. I'm going to skip over that for right now and just get into what I have in the main compartment now. So for me, this style of bag is hugely important. It packs out very well, and it is just one massive zipper in the front. Once you open this thing up and pull the flap out of the way, you have access to this massive compartment and you can pack it how you see fit. I really like this as opposed to the compartment style backpacks when traveling because it just gives you more flexibility. So for me, one of the main things that I carry is a camera insert. Here I have literally everything that I need, lenses, memory cards, batteries, and everything that I need to make these videos on a daily basis. I could probably actually get a smaller one in here, but as you can see, this has literally everything that I need to film and it still fits inside of this bag. Now, like I said, I had this thing set up for basically a three day weekend trip. So I have three days worth of clothing in here, socks, shirts, boxers. And then of course there's also room for all of the toiletries and everything else that I need to add in here. So if I take all of that stuff out, you can start to get an idea of how big this compartment actually is. Now, one cool thing about this rucksack is that they also include this little modular storage in here. This is basically like a hard insert that you can obviously remove and then there's some additional storage on here. In the back, you have
have some zippers here if you want to throw maybe some cables or a phone charger in there. And then on the reverse side, this is actually Velcro, so you can put basically anything that you want on here. And it does come from Amobilis with a mesh pocket, some like admin style pockets as people call them for pens and basically whatever else you want to put in here. This is also nice to leave in here if you do not have a whole lot of stuff in this bag because it'll just keep it more rigid and then it will keep its shape. But for now, I'm gonna take that out so I can show you the rest of the pockets in here and then we will get into the top of the bag. On the inside, there is another big pocket here which you could put a laptop or a tablet or anything like that. Again, there are more zippers in here if you need to organize even further. And then there are also some Velcro tie downs in each of the corner if you want to secure that modular system in here. Now you may have noticed this orange material in here and that goes hand in hand with the design of the top of the bag. So let's talk about that now. If you decide that you want to pack out this bag a little bit differently, maybe this would be for people who are going on day hikes or things like that. If you really want to maximize the space in this bag, you can pack it through the top. Right now, this thing is held closed with this heavy duty latch on top. The hardware on this bag is definitely top notch. That unfolds and as you can see, you can get direct access to the inside of the bag here. Now this orange fabric in here may look similar to some of you. This is actually used to keep the internal compartment dry. Maybe if you're out on the water and you have some dry bags, this basically acts exactly the same as those do. May need to back the camera up here so you can actually see this. This just makes the bag even more versatile than it already is and say if I want to pack this thing up again, I can simply throw my clothing into the bottom of it. I can take my camera insert and slide it in there as well. And there is still a ton of room in here. Maybe I want to throw this hoodie in here. Simply pack this hoodie up, throw it in the top, now, just like a dry lock bag, I can take the material on top, roll it down a time or two, buckle these two ends together, pack it down inside, and then just fold this back up. You put this down first, thread it through each of these holes, and then again with that heavy duty latch on top. Now, as you guys probably thought from the beginning, this thing might have been packed out, but as you can see, there is definitely a lot more room in here for another entire jacket, and there is still more room if I want to add anything else. So there you guys have some new products coming from Amobilis. I definitely wanted to show you these because I figured this fits with a lot of people out there who watch my videos. This is what I'm going to be using for my weekend trips and I think there is actually enough room in here that I could be using this for like backpacking trips or even if I'm flying somewhere for about a week, there is plenty of room in here for someone like myself and I think this might also fit into some of your lifestyles as well. As you guys can probably already tell, Amobilis does make great bomb proof products because of that jacket. I had that thing for a long, long time. I wear it all the time. And these bags are definitely right in line with that Amobilis quality, and I think they might even be a little bit more bomb-proof, but only time will tell. Now, like I said, some of these products, like the jacket and the hoodie that is now in this backpack, are available on their website right now, so that is where you can find those. If you want to get something like the rucksack or the tactical tote, these are available right now until the 17th on their Kickstarter. If you do support a smaller company like Amobilis on Kickstarter, it helps them grow and produce better things in the future. You guys know I love supporting companies like this, so if it's something that you're into and you do support their Kickstarter, you will then be getting these bags for a lower price than you would if you buy it retail. So those are some new awesome products coming from Amobilis. If you guys have any questions on anything that you saw here, let me know in the comments down below and I will try to answer them. There's a really good chance that you may see this bag in some upcoming travel vlogs. Like I said, I do have some trips coming up and I'm excited to pack this thing out and take it on adventures with me. Now, just to show you guys that I actually trust these products, part of me wants to do something that may come off as pretty stupid, but stand by. All right, now like you guys saw, I have thousands of dollars worth of camera equipment and my computer in here, and I do trust the materials that Amobilis made this out of, so we're going to test to see if this thing is actually waterproof. right there over the zippers, even on the top of the ruck. That laptop compartment on the side here, just getting this thing all sorts of soaked. Now if this thing did not do its job, you guys probably won't even see this video because my computer would be destroyed. I will just dry this off a little bit, check out the computer compartment, bone dry in there. 
Now for the main compartment, again, bone dry. I don't even need to check that. But the one part that I would be worried about is the top here. Obviously water can sink in there and kind of sit on top of that waterproof material. Open this up. This thing definitely did its job. Pop that open. Check out this hoodie. And it is completely dry. So good job, Amobilis. I definitely love supporting you guys. All right, well, that's all that I had for today. So if you guys are new to this channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every week. That is going to be all. So thank you for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one.